Hi, Northwood Stitcher here. Happy St. Patty's Day. Yesterday I went up to um, Lakeside Stitches and did a little filming. Feel, feels a little intrusive when you're filming a space even though you have uh, permission to do so, but I will be showing a bit of the shop in this video. Um, this being St. Patty's Day, I'm trying to get a cross stitch done quickly. This one's called Luck. I found it in a thrift store. It is by Jan Hicks Creates. It's a cute little stitch. And I've decided I'm gonna finish off, I'm supposed to fill in these little border pieces. And I've decided I'm gonna put some beads in there. And I'll probably make it into a little pillow with some pom-poms. I'm gonna use a Mill Hill bead, 167. I've got my beading needle ready, so I'll do that. My trip to uh, Lakeside was really a lot of fun. I met some great people there. I met Rhonda, I met Lucy, Patty, of course, the shop owner, and Ursula. And we all sat around and had some stitch time together, which was wonderful. It's really nice to be around creative people. And the shop is just perfect for it. It's such a beautiful place. She's got a very large table in the back of the shop overlooking the lake. And you can just see the view, watch for some eagles, Right now, this time of year, we've got snowmobiles going around on the lake, despite it being almost 45 degrees yesterday. I think today they're actually getting some snow. Um, but Lakeside Stitches is at 35 Pritham Avenue in Greenville, Maine. It's definitely worth the trip. Make it a pilgrimage if you're up in Maine. <laughs> I loved it. Um, shout out to Patty, who just got back from Nashville. Patty went to Nashville. I think there's a country song in there. Um, but anyway, enjoy some of the video. I'll do a little voiceover to probably explain what we're looking at. And I'm sorry there's not more footage. There's just so much to look at and so much to do there. And enjoy the little bits and pieces. And then I'll be back to show you what I bought. On the way to Lakeside. Welcome to Lakeside Stitches in Greenville, Maine. This is a gorgeous shop. Patty really is a talented and really wonderful person. She's got so many yarns in there for knitters and crocheters, embroidery things, a lot of uh, beginner's kits. If you want to get somebody started on a craft, look at those fabrics. There's just fabric everywhere. Gorgeous stuff. A lot of the frame pieces are numbered, so you um, have easy access to find the chart. She knows exactly where things are. Beautiful model stitches. Bins and bins of fabrics. Great colors. She has a huge table in the back of the shop that overlooks the lake. It's just gorgeous. So much to look at. I don't think I've looked at everything, and I've been in there a few times for several hours. It's just so inviting. It's such a creative space. Just a fun place to be. Oh, I see a Rosewood Manor. She has something for every stitcher. Just a gorgeous space. Here's a view of the lake. This is the back side of the shop. You can see some snowmobiles out there. This is Moosehead Lake. Absolutely gorgeous. Great lighting in there. Here's some of the stash from Nashville. What a haul. My dry fingers. I need to moisturize. So I can't wait to go back. 
there is a stitch time that they have every Thursday. I think it's from one to four. So you can just go and stitch and enjoy the view, do some shopping, have some great chatting and be around creative people. I loved it. I got a whole bunch of stuff, as you can see. <laughs> I did take some things to pair some things up with some colored fabrics because I really like to see in a natural light rather than order online if this color is going to go well with that chart. But to start, let's see. This is by Dirty Annie's. I don't need to read it to you. You can laugh. <laughs> that looked like such a quick and fun stitch. I might do it on white with the jar outlined in a gray or a black. I'm not really sure yet. Then I got um, Telen Emblem. I don't know if I've seen these people before, but I just love this little sampler and all the little different motifs in there. Since I do like to make cards, I can take just the bird or just the spools or the flower and I can do some cards from it as well. So that'll be fun. This I had my eye on last time I was up there, a Jardin Privé, Colors of the Garden. And of course, Patty had the perfect fabric Now on the video, it's a little bit darker, but it's almost a celery color, which I think will be perfect for that white border. I did pick an Ada because I just want to be able to do a quick stitch in front of the TV. I picked up some uh, other fabrics just because it was pretty. And I got an Autumn Lane had my eye on this one. Autumn Town. Isn't that lovely? Now this is actually done on this colored fabric. So only the sky is stitched. So the ground is not, it's not a full coverage. The ground is not stitched. So I'm not sure what I'll do it on. I've got some ideas though, but I really like how that came out. And the barnwood frame is really cool something rustic. Oh, and I did bring up my Charlie Harper. I'm not going to do that on Andrew. I have little notes. Ah, that's what I'm going to do it on. I got a pewter Lugana to do my Charlie Harper on. More things to kit up. This I'm very excited about. Ready? Summer Quaker. I think this is a must have for quite a few of us. You don't have to do the border. I'm going to because I love the little crabs and the lobster and all the different motifs in there. Live in the sunshine, swim in the sea, drink the wild air. Just lovely. I took everything out of the plastic. This one I'm going to do to go up next to my bed. Lucy Beam. Disturbed women. <laughs> yes, I have been accused of being disturbed. It's an honor. I got this one for my husband, a new ink circle. It takes all sorts. Those are those little licorice candies that come in all kinds of weirdness. He loves them. I don't know why. Some people do. But I thought this was cute. I think it calls for a Charlotte's Pink Linen by Weeks Dye Works. Pretty sure I have a coral in my uh, collection that I'll do that in. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Picked up a couple of flosses. Oh, yes. Look at this one. Look at this one. This is Exquisite Lace by Works by ABC. I think that's stunning. And I'm going to do it on Grace Notes Linen called Jennifer, which is this beautiful green. It's just gorgeous. 
So that's a 32 count. It's going to be stunning, I think, because I really wanted to go with a white. So I'll do a bright white with that one. So excited. I wonder if I'll ever be allowed out to play again after the damage I did in that shop. Oh, and then I brought up my Barbara Anna design. Sorry, that's still on the plastic. And I matched it up with a lighter color. Um, this is Grace Notes Linen Andrew. And I did a 28 count linen. I wanted something a little brighter because this background was just a bit too dark. I worry about the caterpillar showing up and some of the leaves. And the photo probably doesn't do it justice. We all know how sometimes the photos are just darker. <coughs> and then I picked up a couple of uh, more floss colors so I can kit this up. Right now downstairs, I've got my Abraham Lincoln uh, fabric soaking. I have this giant oversized cookie tray, which I don't think I've ever used for baking. I use it for my linen or my, my fabric. So I soak that for maybe two or three days just to get the fabric nice and relaxed. I don't push on it, I don't do anything. Then I line dry it, line drip it, put it on a semi-colored, uh, similar colored towel. And then while it's damp and almost dry, then I'll iron it quickly, not, not on a high heat to uh, cause any shrinkage. Then I will kit it up and completely finish, or completely start and say it's all kitted up and ready to go. And I think that was it for, for that day. I hope to go back up again soon. Lots of frost heaves in the road, lots of bouncing. Um, but that's just part of Maine. Passed a lot of uh, um, moose warning signs. And then you know you're getting up into moose country. And I lost count how many logging trucks. Maybe 12. Might have been 14. I got one on camera. Um, I did not um, film on a on anything but like my hand. I could just hit a button on the side if I pulled off to the road and get ready to hit the video button and just hold it up and do that. Didn't look at the camera. So I don't know what I got in my shots. Hopefully my husband can edit that and you got a chance to see some of it. But uh, no, you don't film while you're driving. You don't play with your phone while you're driving. Anyway, I gotta go brush my hair. I did not brush my hair for this video. And some videos you'll see me in my pajamas because that's how I stitch. So have a great St. Patty's Day and stay tuned for a tour of the craft room and next coming videos. And also, I'm gonna be doing some giveaways, talking about some of my favorite local uh, websites because there's some Mainers up here that have their own websites and they're super fast in shipping, great easy to use websites. So get your notebooks handy. When I do a giveaway, don't mention it in the comments. We'll talk about that. I do have an email account now, Northwood Stitcher, Northwood Stitcher at gmail.com. I'll be posting that and hopefully you'll learn a little bit more about how to do these YouTube videos. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Happy day. Happy stitching. Be safe.